How we are doing? Are we live? Are we live yet? Sound is present. Fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a big, big go lot, everyone. Okay, looks like everything is in order with the server, even though it's not been like. Kitty, which document? Do a control C, control V, do a not everyone, do a, do a self promo. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to us. I'm gonna be in so much pain tonight. I'm it's, it's gonna be fucking awful. I'm going to die several times, I think. Okay, um, I'm gonna put my stream in the team's pl place. Yeah, self promotion. If you're not gonna promote yourself, uh, nobody will. I mean, so uh, FYI, I have no setup. I just, I just don't. I just don't. A setup is not something I have. Oh God, PCD. Who's PCD? So Poclaremus, obviously. He is some. Um... Ah, whatever. Typos. It's fine. It's fine to make typos sometimes. It makes me seem more like a more like a real human. Kick. PC drift. I have no idea who that is. I don't think I've read. I think they are a new join. I don't think I've ever raced against them. Interested to see how they perform. Hopefully, I will get another good competitor here. Wide. Mate, like, I'm awful at this talk, by the way, like, even by my standards, and which are low. My standards are. Like, you can't get much lower than that. You can just. You. The thing is. You can jump curbs a lot, but you don't. You should really shouldn't jump. But you can, you can jump on too much. Absolutely. See, this is too much. This chicane is also like it's super awkward. It, I'm not. I don't think I'm a huge fan of this track. It's it's a few too many just awkward chicanes. Just like there's not too much flow to the track and flow is something I value a lot in the racing circuit. I like I like tracks to flow well. And this kinda doesn't like so you know if you know they should feel like what every turn should kind of logically and just go into the next I mean no this doesn't feel like bad completely <laughs> but mm, it's definitely not my favorite not gonna be my favorite where is this track Zolder that's the sounds like the Netherlands could be Belgium though just as well they speak Dutch in some parts of that.
yeah, see, like, it's pretty much... This one is weird, because you have to slow down so much, but really, it's a, a straight, kind of a straight line that you... The, 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 the lines can... This one, the line is not straight. The line is very, very curved. I am in I am I'm I'm in pain. <sighs> anyway, yeah, I'm gonna be super slow, like I'm gonna be back of the pack. I've done very little practice on this track partially because well I just don't enjoy it that much. It's always harder to do to practice for targets you don't enjoy, so you know. I'm just gonna be happy that there is no Algrave this season. Algrave is officially my least favorite racing track in the world. Well, that I tried driving on in the in a sim. Why is that you ask? Well, because <sighs> Algrave is a track that actively makes an effort to not have flow. Every corner on the track is specifically designed to be very awkward or jarring or just annoying. It's also... Uh, it's, ah, that's fine. Yeah, that makes sense. That, that's far too much cutting on the second bit. I also consider Algrave to be an example of how not to utilize elevation in a, in a racing track. Because you, you have a few, like there's a few approaches you can take, right? You can take the, the most famous uh, uh, kind of approach is just kind of have one big set piece of a turn with a big elevation change and then just have a bit of it throughout the track. You know, that's what Spa does with Orujadion. Что, зачем ты смотришь так жутко? Зачем ты смотришь как девочки из хоррора? Sorry. Actually, yeah, I should have read that. I should have read those myself, actually. Uh, whatever. This first turn feel, feels super awkward, though. Other than that, the uh, turns, like, they don't really feel super awkward. They're just very punishing because of how that gravel is just... Like, it just stops you dead in your tracks, which I suppose makes it very good gravel. But... As you know, that's why it's there, to stop cars. But look at that, slightest touch and already my delta goes from being all the way green to all the way red. In a... in a... in the tiniest instant. <laughs> it's also very hard to not lock the brakes. Like, I... I'm not very good at the... at... at brake balance adjustments. And I think that's like that's my main weakness for, with this car. Like the handling, I mean, I'm not super good at it, right? But when I get it, I, I, I like I can get it. I, I, I can, I can sort of make it click if I practice enough, which I have not. Just FYI. Yeah, look at that. A 43. I can't fucking match that. I don't. Th I just. I just don't think I'm gonna be able to match that. I'm. I'm sure he's on softs. Whatever. Uh, like the mediums aren't that far. Aren't that bad on this. Oh, 
Ah, uh, maybe, the, actually, maybe. Got to remember that I have to use power through the corners. Because this is an all-wheel drive car. Nah, that nice. Okay, maybe, ooh, 40. Poclorimus out there doing 41s. So, I guess what? Tibor about do a 39. Actually, he's in a beamer. Is, is, is Tibor still in a beamer or did he get his car changed to an alpha like everyone else? If he's in a beamer, then then there might not be that much pace because I think the alpha is going to be better here. Uh, actually, mm, I mean, it depends really, right? Because uh, because the the Beamer does have uh, ABS and Alpha just doesn't, so that might be a pretty big advantage for a BMW, for a driver who knows how to how to utilize that advantage. I, I honestly, I almost wish I went with the BMW just for the ABS, just for the ABS. I just you know I I just want to be able to like hit the brakes and not be in massive fear every. Not just be terrified of my brakes. Oh come on, that was like a fucking sick drift, and that counts as going off. That's awful. Papers. What are they for? Who knows? Who knows? Not me. I never lost control. Wow, so maybe, actually maybe the BMW is better here. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I just know nothing. Yeah, no, no, like the far... I'm gonna have to wait for like John to come on if he... And hope that he doesn't... That he will just share his setup. Uh -oh. Okay, so Okay, let's let, let's start figuring out our setup all over again. I've I've not really been paying too much attention, so like I'm going to see what I struggled with more than The pit lane here is, uh, like, the pit lane exit is terrifying here, and I hate it very much. So, I'm very glad this is not an endurance race. There's, there will be no pit stops unless something goes horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. And even then, it will probably be just better to live with whatever damage you take than get to, get to paid. Unless it's completely undrivable. <coughs> hey, mate. I'm choking on my fucking coffee. So I think maybe, maybe, maybe I make it so even softer. Because those curbs, you do got to jump over the curbs. Like these ones are quite flat, so it's so it's all right with this. Uh, but the first chicane is okay. I think I do want more tu more turning. I, like I don't feel like I'm struggling. For real glee, grip, 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 fucking hell. I cannot speak, man. This is the one corner where I kind of feel I'm, like I'm sleeping, but I think I can just manage that with careful of, with careful throttle control. And I think I, I'm gonna need to turn down the top speed like, like massively because. I'm going. Well, I'm not even using the fixed gear, and that's less an idea. Well, yeah, that looks like a line. He 
Okay, where's the longest straight? Where's the highest top speed? Is it here? Let me check what kind of speed I'm gonna hit. Gonna be too, like 200 and like 208. That looked like looked like 208. So yeah, definitely got to change the gearing. I think. Mate, I'm mate, making a setup from scratch this late is just such a so such a bad sign. But you know, maybe I can come up with something amazing. Good one, good one. So big breaking zone here. I kind of see a marker on the left, but it's so dark. I'm sticking with Thibaut and that makes me happy, like he's a very good driver even though he's been struggling this season with the beamer. Okay, at 100 meters, maybe a later, feels like and maybe can break a bit later. And that's gonna be a 42. And okay, so I don't think I saw top speeds higher than that 208. gonna do one more lap I think just like it's not like I'm short on time because I don't need to, uh, like I because I don't need to run a full race program uh, just you know to just to check which tires I want to be on uh, I think that little path connecting on the left is a decent indication for a braking zone into this into that turn uh, here we want to break at 100 meter board or a tiny bit later maybe Feel free to cut the first bit, but yeah, it just kind of sends you got a, I, th I, I do think I will f have to soften up the setup This car seems to like being soft Not not so much into stiffness this one is so yeah, just there's a 100 meter board on the left That's barely visible in the shadows Don't have to check if it's more visible with lights on I I, I, I bet it is So I guess I'm racing with lights on because like a lot of these signs are just borderline invisible in the shadow I, I like these really heavy acceleration corners. I do feel the wheels kind of start to go, but I don't ever feel completely out. I don't really feel out of control. I just need, well, to practice better throttle control. Okay, I think I got a good idea of where, of where to go from here. So, gears. G okay. Definitely one one more down. Down to two, three, two, three, three. Mid so, tires. Feels fine. Ah, oh, I actually got unequal push pressures on two sides. Okay. I'm thinking less wing. Maybe even less, actually. And then... Oh, I don't, like, I mean, maybe less camber, a bit le less camber on the... Actually, no, I'm gonna... Not too much, though, because I... Ooh, it's already super soft. If, uh, how about now? Nah, fucking far oh, fucking let's walk it all the way up to 50 and the rear even higher. I mean, not higher, but you know. And actually, you know, make it maybe, but then with the roll bars, maybe makes it different instead. Let, okay, let's let's see if this improves the car at all. Oh, I'm feeling that low. Okay, I'm feeling that low back rear grip is a bit lower. The car really wants to turn in now. That's good. That was part of the goal. 
make the car turn in more. Oh yeah, that's oh that's so much better. Okay. But now the real test. First of all, yeah, I, I'm actually using the fixed gear, which is good. Yeah. I think that's too much for jump. Like, I, I don't think there's much I can do with suspension to, to make that bearable. Mental, what up? You missed some properly mental shit yesterday. Like, you, if you check out my clips, there's some insane shit there. Uh, l lurking, okay, thanks for the lurk. I was just like focusing on for a second. Yeah, I need to turn on my lights because I genuinely need them to see some of my breaking markers. Man, that's like, like there's like nobody on the server right now. A bit late. I, I mean, to be fair, it is very early in the in in the setup in the practice session here, so it's not like people have no time to show up. Just people sometimes don't. Okay, ooh. I didn't notice that I was hitting the limiter there. That's. I gotta be, pay more attention to the. Not the limiter, but like. I mean, yeah, the limiter was there, but I was hitting the top, of, the top of that specific gear. Not my top speed. Okay, break around here. Yeah, take this corner at around 130. Bit for slide, no big deal. This car can take it. It's up to six. Now break down to fourth, down to third. Okay, turn in. Jump over immediately. Start accelerating. Just touch the the second curb with your right with my right side tires. Full throttle through here. Break when you see tire marks on the ground. Maybe a bit later. Yeah, probably later. No, I should, should have just done it all in third. Full throttle. Not too much sliding action. Okay. Break before the 100 board. Bit, like, bit of oversteer on the exit, control it. Now break, I think, just after the 100 board. Yep, that's about. Oh yeah, that's. Oh, that's. That's yeah, that's about right. Okay, can. Okay, so. I need to control my exit over steer better. I need to uh, take more speed through T1, for sure. And. Not a great start. I'm. I'm not okay. This setup is for sure faster. Like there's some slides in action, but that's perfectly fine. Like you can like this is the beauty of this car. It just lets you get away with that. I think I might raise the the. Oh yeah, like that. Yeah, look at that. I can just, I can take so much of the of these curbs, right? Because my setup is so soft. The suspension just tanks it. No big deal. That's, yeah, that's too much. That's too much for cut. Yeah, that's fair. Completely fair that that lab got removed. But look at that. I can go so fast, man. Oh. Oh. Not if, not if I just miss my breaking point completely. I cannot. Um, I do think I'm gonna try uh, changing the pressure on the rear left at least and just generally just bring the left. Uh, Luca, what up? How are you doing? Burning a bit of rubber? Yep, we are sliding to Nate. Uh, this car, like this car is very receptive to sliding. Like this is a car where sliding can actually be genuinely fast and that is... Like it's a it's super odd car to drive but... I think I, I think I kind of got it. I think it, it's clicking for me, at least on this track. I was, 
Which is you no know, good. I was kind of going into it with a kind of with a bit of fear of this truck because this is not the kind of truck I enjoy too much. I hope you recover quickly, mate. You know. Drink your, drink your fluids, don't sneeze on people. All that stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing fine. Been a bit busy like the last week. And gonna be still be busy this week, so that's gonna be interesting, but like like I, 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 could, I could like if a week started and ended on on Wednesday I could say that I had a very busy week but since I mean but a week does not start nor end on Wednesday but anyway yeah, just a lot of a lot of things to do so I'm quite tired quite a bit stressed but it's nothing it's nothing bad in fact, kind of good. Just a lot of shit to do. You know? Like, there's, there's also been more work. Than for... <laughs> yeah. Just, like, extra tired. But, but that's fine. Not... I, because ex extra work doesn't mean extra money, and you know, that's always nice to have. I think this setup is a bit worse actually at handling the, the this first starting section. Or maybe I'm just, I'm just sucking it a bit. But, I, like, but, but it's fairly consistent, right? I do lose three tenths from my best time there every time and never more never less Ooh. and look at that you can just like slide it in and then straight line it like I'm I think I, yeah, I think I've gone in the right direction with this setup Oh, uh, yeah, I do feel that this is the correct direction. Look at that, mate. Look at that. And, like, I didn't think I could do that, but I, I, I've made this fun... I've made this car legitimately fun to drive. That's amazing, because, like, it's not... It's just a very awkward handling vehicle. And the fact that I'm having just a ton of fun just in a practice session right now, that's so... That's so good. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's that's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, that's so much time saved. Oh, touched gravel, that's bad. That's worse than touching grass. Uh, gravel on this track is fucking evil. Like, it just... It grabs you. And it does not let go. Which I suppose makes it very good at its job, it's just... It's just... So unforgiving, you know? Like, small mistake and you lose massive amounts of time. It's not quite as bad as on Watkins Glen, where a small mistake and you are in a wall and dead. Well, or at least would be dead if this was not a simulation. Fuck. Uh, that could have been the best lap time of the practice session. But yeah, but I'm figuring this out pretty rapidly. 
that's white and bad, but that's because I that's because I took a sip of my coffee. At not a at not a very good moment. Yeah, I think I can catch up to Christoph or, uh, with this setup. Just need to have a good lap, not even a perfect one, just a good one. And that's actually a very important. The fact that I'm able to do laps that are good but not perfect, but it still be fast. It's so easy to make a theoretically fast setup that you can... Th th that just requires 7,000 attempts for one lap to be actually fast. It's so much harder to do something you can be consistently decent with. I, th I feel like, right? Yeah, it's not Consistency is... I mean, this is not... It's not quite as much for key as it is in, in endurance events like our Praga, like our Praga League. Which we ha which we race on Sundays, but it is uh, still uh, still important. Because one silly mistake can often undo so many laps of good progress. It's actually insane. Especially on tracks such as this one, which is quite unforgiving when it comes to mistakes. At least the car is somewhat forgiving. You have to be so active on the wheel on this thing too, because there's just... Okay, okay, I'm going back into pits and I am changing, I am, ch I am putting more pressure on the tires. I don't feel like, uh, I feel like the, otherwise it's going to be an issue the left side wearing too much. Did you hear that? I, I know you didn't. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna just test this out, see if it can help me just if I just stomp on the brakes. Like if I can stomp on the brakes without completely locking up and instantly losing it if if I change brake settings a bit. It's quite important to get those right when you don't have ABS and this is something that I'm quite bad at. I, I think I've gotten okay at braking without ABS. But I'm I'm not good at setting it up in such a way that braking is not is not is not too difficult. Oh, look at that! I actually so I actually stomped on the brakes there, right? I did not lock up. That's very important. That will allow me to be quite a bit more aggressive. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. Oh. Oh, this is some good stuff. Man, let's let's set this out in a really hard breaking zone. Okay, lo just locked at the end, so you have to you do um, have to let go, but I can that's so much easier to break. It's so much easier to break now. That's a fucking revelation, mate. Oh, I'm I'm super happy with the setup right now. I, I like it might not strictly speaking make me faster. A bit of a bit of a slide. 
less than ideal. Ah, wide, wide, wide. Shouldn't be so wide, man. I should not be this wide. Ah, oh, yeah, that's fair, that's fair, that's... I braked too early, so I just tried to cut the chicane way too, way too much. So... <clears throat> It's, but it's like it's one of those tricky situations where you can you can cut so much of it that, that it becomes a bit but it's not all of it and it becomes a bit difficult to tell just where the limits are but like did you, I think it's like, like I think and like I'm not entirely sure what exactly the, the track limits are still But I think I can get an idea if I do a few more laps, it's not, you know, they don't feel like in inconsistent or insane. Maybe I'm just saying that because I can use them to be faster and not have to do as much of the chicane. Because chicanes are just, I mean, that's, I don't like them, just like in general, I, like, I mean, that's a bit harsh to chicane, right? Because there are some absolutely, absolutely amazing ones. Like that car of chicane at Monza. I mean, come on. Like, how is this... Th that was a bit odd that that count was off track, right? Because I was wide, I gained no time, and I just... Okay, that's fine. I'm just driving a bit badly, I think. Mm. But anyway, what was I saying? Ah, oh, let's come with JV. JV is pretty fast. Yeah, chicanes are just... I feel like a lot of them are a bit... poorly implemented. It's like, you know, um, our cars are going too fast, but what do we do about it? Like, some chicanes can be fun. Bus stop chicanes are generally it's fun to navigate even if they can be considered a bit lazy i suppose but it's a design that works quite well it's it's it's, it's a lot of fun on the i mean maybe not generally because i've not ridden that many packs with bus stops right but uh i like I, I like the bus stop on daytona and i like the bus stop on on watkins Glen, right so Based on that, I, I can say that I that I do tend to like bus stop chickens over other kinds. <sighs> I can't. I I do appreciate the chickens at Hockenheim. Just for the fear factor that they bring. Uh, the f Fuck, I, I keep touching gravel there, it's st it's silly, silly mistakes. Like, that's, that's easy half a second loss and that's amazing. But yeah, uh, the first chicken especially at Hockenheim is fucking terrifying like honestly uh-huh yeah makes sense that, that okay that was, that was a bit ambitious i kind of just did it to test it if it, if it could, could tell me that i've cut it or not and not surprised at all that it told me that that's a cut that's impo important things to find out ahead of quality you know got a break just a bit earlier just before the 100 board just before Uh, J uh, John's here. I'm about to watch my lap times be destroyed. Because he is actually fast. 
Christ. And yeah, he goes, he got pretty tilted yes, uh, last week, which is honestly understandable. Oh, is he not gonna race tonight? Is he, did he just come on to apologize? And, oh no, oh no, no, I think he's just... And yeah, he got fairly tilted yesterday, but... Oh, uh, yesterday. Why, why do I keep saying yesterday? It was last week. I remember it like it was yesterday. No, it was last week. He got fairly tilted. It's kind of understandable, but, you know... Yeah, makes sense that he would apologize. I would... I would feel the need to if I, if I got as stupid as he did. It, but... a bit understandable because he got fucked pretty badly like he's just his luck ever his luck since since Hockenheim has been absolutely garbage so you know like it's understandable that he get mad He's clearly the fastest driver, at least among uh, among Alphas. And uh, Alpha is generally the faster cars, so. But he, he's had a lot of misfortune either due to either due to things that are completely not his fault, right? Or to like really silly mistakes that it would be just really annoying to lose because, you know, like similar level to what I had yesterday when I went into a wall bounce into the pit, lost massive amounts of time and lost a chance to win. Like I know for a f I am 100% certain that I would have won had I not done that because, my, like, because my com my main rival that race Fritz, he, while he cl he had more pace than me, he, like he d did not like he did not guess the strategy right, uh, so so I was catching like even with that mistake I was catching him. In the last, in the, in the at the end of the race, I was catching him. And if I had just not lost those, like what, ten seconds or whatever that I lost, well, I, I would have been able to catch him and uh, overtake him, even even though he would be faster. His first stint would be faster than me for sure. Like he is, he was pretty much as fast. He, on mediums, he was as fast as I was on softs, and I think that's unreal. He is just... he was very fast in that race. And had he gotten the strategy right, I would have had no chance. He got it wrong, so I could have had a chance, but... But I fucked it up by making a mistake. And again, I, had, I also had some experience on my side, because, you know... The, he just mate, mate, Johnny. Buddy. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see like, what kind of lines he takes. It doesn't matter much that he ruined my lap because this is practice. And just hope he doesn't do that to me in quality. That would be not very nice. Come on, I want to follow his line. I don't want him to follow my line. A bit wide.
bonk. Okay, now back to pizza I go, I think. Okay, I'm gonna save this setup as TST as test three because I, I I like it. Uh, um, I th actually I think maybe a bit more brake power is what I want. Other than that, nah, nothing. I don't think there's maybe f no. If, if I add even more front grip, it's just gonna be too much for struggle in low speed stuff. Like I'm gonna lose it. I'm I'm going to be if I yeah if I. Like if I shift the grip balance any any for any more to the front, then it will just be a struggle to too much for struggle to keep it somewhat straight out through heavy acceleration, which there's quite a a lot of on this track. So Oh yeah, that, oh that's good. Like on the on fresh tires, this setup is fucking mint. I love it. I love it. And like this car feels so good on fresh tires, just that they wear quite quickly. And that's I think the most unfortunate thing about this car. Like, like I, 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 you know, I've even come to appreciate the weak uh, force feedback. Acce got that accelerating a tiny bit later, I think. Oh, Poco going and setting the fastest lap time, eh? Oh no, that's not. Oh, that is. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Christoph was the fastest before. Now it's Poco. Poco's doing a fantastic job on that Beamer. He's really, I think, he's really figured that car out. The way some even all the drivers haven't been able to. Like we had, uh, we had some good. I had some good racing with Poco in, in in the in the in the MX fives, and we were fairly close through that through that league, but here we kind of not because. Well, he just figured out that Beamer, to an extent that I have not figured out this Alpha, even though. The, the Alpha is generally faster. Oh well, the important thing is that I'm not in the fucking Audi anymore. Because that car was garbage. Which is a shame, because like, it's... It's really cool in theory, it's... It's all-wheel drive, like this one is. Not that was not a fa not fantastic club. Not that good. Good. <laughs> Man, it's it's just a struggle to find time to take a sip of water or coffee or whatever just drink with uh, with a manual car 
Goes, oh, uh, yeah, uh, that's fine, that's fine. I deserve that time and removal. With a flappy part of the gearbox, you can at least, you know, upshift with one hand or... So, you know, on a straight, you can just take your left hand off the wheel, take a sip, and you will not lose any time because you just upshift with your right. But here, you always have to have two, use two hands. Mate, why am I? I'm getting so am I getting so much ping spam? It's actually insane. That's wild. Where is it coming from even? Okay, they have posted the good results. Oh yeah, I posted the progress result from yesterday. Guy, guy with a username Diet Peach Fanta just came in. I mean, I, I mean, I told for he joined the league, won his first race in the league. Yeah, I was a bit close. Should have been a bit nicer to him, maybe, but he did kind of exit into me, so I was. I cut too much of the second, much too much of the second curb and not enough of the first. I just had to stop to let him through. No reason to crash into him. For no reason. No reason to cr Yeah, and, you know, here comes... Okay, remember. Power through the corners, I don't know. Power through the corners. You're all... You... This is an all-wheel drive car, so power through the corners is how you go fast. Not too much power, but power. Yeah, like that. Could have, could have thought accelerated earlier, I think. Oh, come on. I mean, that, 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 that's a car, but that doesn't in game me anytime. Whatever. Come on, get back on track, you fuck. There we go. The trick of course is to let go of the brake at the right moment. I, I, maybe, maybe I don't shift into 6 here actually. Yeah, I think I don't. Awful. Okay. Okay, quick. No hands on the wheel shift.
save that. I'm gonna need to... Uh, that's... Like, actually, I've even learned to appreciate the, the lightness of the force feedback, which I found super annoying at first. Because it, it lets you just kind of throw the wheel around very... very quickly, which lets you save the car from things that would otherwise be unsavable. At least unsavable by my skill level. I know you can keep straight under acceleration even if your throttle control is not that good because mm. oh. bonk I was almost a bonk wonder how much power is going to the front wheels because it can't be 50-50 Actually, like, I mean, I mean, it can't be. I don't know enough to tell the difference anyway, right? I can for sure tell you that at least the way I have it. To be I do have, I did set up the car to be entirely oversteering as opposed to understeering. And like, uh, and I failed to use that oversteer effectively. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm happy with my current time. If I'm half a second behind leaders, that's good for me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. So I'm gonna test out how the setup a setup for quality with like what five laps worth of fuel, whatever. Yeah, let's go. The music of of the engine. Oh fuck! Just like with literally everything that makes noises of variable of controllably variable pitch, you can make music with engines. Like there's some. I think an F1 team, uh, I don't remember which one, like in like the 2000 or like the early 10s, uh, around that time, tuned, oh, no, it has to be 2000s, because it was a V10 and they tuned that to, to perform a song, I think it was Lotus, and they're British, so they just tuned it to perform the British National Anthem. With just you know ch by just changing the RPM to the desired note, it's on YouTube. You can find it. Man, I I, I really wish these softs were, were like uh, just sturdy enough to be usable to be race usable because they fall they are so fast but they just fall apart instantly. Okay, my flying lap is going to be garbage, but that's all right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, these are qualifying tires and they're good for that, for sure. Too much sliding though, like, these do punish sliding quite a bit more, just because... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that was expected too much for jump. I can't even get two quality laps out of them before they start overheating and doing the other thing. I'm doing whatever, just, you know, just cut all the, sh all the corners. I'm just gonna ruin lap somewhere else to not fuck up my delta. Yeah, I'm gonna. I see. I'm just gonna not accelerate here. That that will that will 
Fuck up my delta, so my delta is not set to an illegal lap. Like, it's not, the delta up is not smart enough to know the difference, why I don't think. Maybe it is, but I don't trust it <laughs> to be smart enough anyway. Okay, all about throttle control in the final chicane. But yeah, like this thing has three chicanes, that's maybe too many. I mean, I guess Monza has three chickens as well, and actually, I, I actually don't like some. The sh I actually don't like the first two chickens of Monza, so you know what? Fuck you know what? Fuck it. Three chickens is too many, unless they're really good, and these are just fine. I forgot what the line was through the chicane. Like I can just turn in a straight line, it, but I I don't think I got the I'm getting the the entry point right. Hundred break down to third. Yeah, I think I keep third pick and not second. Yeah, I don't think I lose too much, like I don't lose much acceleration, but it's easier to control the throttle on third. Yeah, yeah, Tibo's not really having a good time with the beam. Rich is unfortunate, he's a fast driver. I, I would have liked to see him closer to much closer to the top. I do feel like I should have gone with the beam though, just because I don't know man, I'm like honestly yeah, just for the ABS, just so I don't have to worry about brakes quite so much
Oh yeah, that's that's a line. Just like I just you jump over most of those cubes, not all of them, but most. And that's it, it, that's key, cause you know if you jump over all of them, you'll just get your laptop delete, cause it's cut. Oh, I, I do tend to overcorrect a bit and lose time like that. And there I am, the corrected me. <laughs> funny. Very funny. Oh, mate. Yeah, it's fine. He was slowing down all the racing line. I was just not being a bit inattentive. Mate, don't take mate fucking exiting on the side of me. Oh, come on. I, I bet I be, that, that shit better not happen in poorly. Okay, there's nothing I feel I can. Ch you know what? I'm gonna take a small break. Yeah, I started slowing down the racing line because I'm I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Pretty even, pretty even mix of shit. Very even mix of beamers and alphas in the top five. Actually, pretty cool. Although I'm pretty sure I can, I can beat Jayway's time. I mean, yeah, Jayway is literally zero one thousandth of a second, one literal millisecond ahead of me. And uh, that's uh, you know that's as low as time measurement commonly goes my little dark age and this steady or I grieve in stereo. The stereo sounds strange. Mate, that song's been stuck in my head for a bit. <sighs> Breathe in the dark. Lying on its side, the ruins of the dead, painted with a scar. The more I stand it out, the less I want to try. The feelings start rot one wink at a time. Forgiving who you are or what you stand to gain, just know that if you hide, it doesn't go away. When you get out of bed, don't end up so dead Horrified with each stone On the stage my little dark age Picking through the cards Knowing what's nearby Carvings on the face Say they find it hard And the engines failed again And the engines failed again all limits of disguise, the humor's not the same, coming from denial. I grieve in stereo, the stereo sounds strange. I know that if you hide, it doesn't go away. If you get out of bed and find me standing, me standing all alone, open-eyed, burn the page, my little dark age. I grieve in stereo, the stereo sounds strange. You know that if it hides, it doesn't go away. If I get out of bed, you'll see me standing all alone, horrified, on the stage, my little dark age. Mate, 
good song. It's like uh, YouTube has just been recommending me like a shitload of videos with it, and it's it's kind of found my, found its way deep into my head. You know what? Let's make sure I got fuel, okay? Lord, so if I, yeah, that's uh, I'm gonna have thaw, fuel, fuel, fuel. So uh, if a lap is minute forty. Uh, don't see it going much lower at this point. I mean, in in quality, but the quality doesn't really count because it's everyone's going to be on softs and so and whatever. Anyway, so twenty by sixty equals hundred. Yeah, one thousand two hundred divided by well, yeah, one hundred seconds, twelve laps. I have an off pole thirteen here. I'm gonna put in a north pole. Uh, 12.9 If it does go to 13, like it means that if it does go to 13, I can just fuel save a tiny bit and make it uh, Okay, I'll change, I don't have to change that right now, I can oh, I didn't do my, I didn't do my death, my dwelling Maybe I can do them while we are, while the Lord, shit, while the, I can try to do them while session is changing. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's fucking send it, eh? So, like what? F yeah, full ups of fuel. Softs. And let's fucking go. Who is this ahead of me? I cannot tell. I'm gonna let them go a bit. Oh, that's a Merc. Oh, that's something. Uh, there aren't many Mercs in the league. I've just considering switching to a Merc. It's Is it Pine Phone? I fucking wish, mate. It's Yandex Phone. Yeah, gonna be instant dense gamer mode. Actually, like, uh, like I, I would fucking try to use a pine phone as a daily driver. I'm that kind of idiot. 
uh, I mean, I know, I know how idiotic that actually is. Like, I don't know what the state of Waydroid is right now. Oh, and Unbox. Well, uh, well, Unbox was super junky last time I tried it. Uh, Waydroid, I've not played around with much at all. Well, also a problem, of course, is, you know, the relative lack of decent x86 Android apps. Not too many things I still su actually support Android on x86. Okay, let's hope I don't catch up to the guy ahead of me. That would be quite silly of me. Yeah. Like, I'm like not even kidding. I'm hoping that this phone can last me long enough that my next phone, my next phone, can be a Linux phone that is usable as a daily driver. Not even joking right now. I mean, Android is Linux, right? But it's shitty Linux. I did not tweak it much, honestly, because, well, frankly, while I'm confident in my, I, like, I'm like 95% confident. I, I, I might be a oh, shite. I might, I'm thing is, I'm only 95% confident in my ability to, uh, like, install, to, to. Uh, What's the English word? I don't even remember. Прошить, короче, его. Yeah, I'm, I'm like I'm 95 percent confident my ability to like install some other play, some some other version of Android on it without breaking it. But I'm only 95 percent sure. Do you know what? I am 100 percent sure that I cannot afford a new phone in case I break the, break this one. So, you know, that kind of limits my experimentation, sadly. Uh, like, and it's, and also, like, I, I, I tried messing with it, right? Like, I tried at least putting a custom recovery on there. But it's, it, like, the uh, thing is, it's supposed to be super easy with the Yandex phones. But it, but it didn't work. So, I'm not, so I'm not sure. So, like, I'm not sure if I fucked something up or... I think it's also might be an issue with like different software revisions. I already know how. Yeah, yeah, firmware. See, like that thing, it's supposed to be super easy, right? On the Alex phone, but I, th I think it might also depend on like on the hardware revision and software, uh, specific firmware on the on the phone that makes it either easy or, dif or very very difficult. And I think, like, what I have is one of the last Yandex phones ever made. So, you know, that means it's got, like, all the, like, all the hardware and software revisions that they might have put in there to make it more difficult to root it and, you know, do things with it. They're all in there. They're all in there for sure. Like I said, again. Like the the chance of breaking it would be very slim, but it's not, but it's not zero. And but but, but the, what is but the chance of me being able to buy a new phone in case I do break it is zero. So and like it's it would be kind of, like I do technically have a backup phone, but it's very old and it's pretty shit as well. So. So yeah, I'd rather just have a working stock phone than not have a phone, especially not right now. Now would be like an extremely bad time for uh, for me 
to break a phone. N like the worst possible time, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, there's no really a good time to to be without a phone in the, in the modern world, but th there are bad times and then there are bad times, and this is the second one. I can Like if, if I if my phone breaks it a new one will come out I guess of the laptop budget because I am looking for a new laptop I'm going to need one for sure And it has to be fairly fairly powerful Well it doesn't strictly speaking have to be a I just, I would just get really fucking bored if it's not. And, you know, getting really bored tends to be quite bad for one's mental health. I mean, I should find something to do, but if I didn't, if I wasn't able to game. But I'd rather not have to, you know? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh yes. Oh no, we're fine. Oh yes. Uh, time loss. I'm not I'm not replicating my good laps and that's a problem. Like fuck! Mm, man, this is garbage. Okay. Mm. I, I, my eyes are on the road. I'm just, I'm just bad. I'm just struggling. I mean, if I start in the midfield, that will be all right for me. I'm just. I feel like I have the pace to start higher. I feel like if I do get the one perfect lap, I can start like third, maybe. Okay, two more laps, two more, two more attempts, and I already fucked this one. I don't. Man, the last corner just sometimes goes completely wrong, and I'm not even sure why. It pisses me off. Just about done. Well, like the thing that is that makes failure a hundred times more frustrating is when you don't know the reason for it. Like I know the reason for the, for what happened here. I was a f I just took a bad fucking line, and there's nothing more to it than that. <gasps> like man, okay, okay, I need to do something. Okay, just... Not a lot of time yet to... Not a lot of time left to improve my time, and my time is just fucking bad right now, and it's a problem. I, I've literally... Be, I've literally done better on mediums. I will... Uh, Not the best place to exit, but 
I'm not uh, like actually impeding them, not yet anyway. And I'm gonna try and make sure I don't. I'm going to just oh fuck. Sorry, sorry. Like, I, not good that I've got a cross like that, but I just, I, I think that was the only way I could have gotten over the line, really. Okay. Focus now. Full throttle. Good gear. Mm, uh, yeah, I think I don't. Uh, break a bit earlier this time just to be careful. Because if I can break out, I can accelerate early. Garbage. Slow. That was alright. That was okay. that was good. Now break. Oh, see, I almost got back all the time that I lost. Just there. It's fine. I have time for just one more lap. Yeah, no, no improvement this lap, but last chance, last chance. Be okay, could have accelerated earlier, for sure. I am. I, 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 I want to fucking die. I am unbelievably pissed off. I am. I'm okay. Uh, okay. But I'm about to use the bathroom real quick and get water. No, TST3, come on, quick. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. 
not late for the start and not late for the start. Okay. So essentially the race plan is don't die. That's that's the entire plan. Just avoid death at all costs. That's the whole plan. Oh, where's PC Drift? Oh, he's just behind me, that's... Oh, he, oh he's the one, he's, uh, he's the one of the Mercs. Yeah, oh, there, we got like three Mercs today, that's the more, more Mercs than we've had in any race yet, that's... We might have not, we might not have had any. Okay, are, we, are you ready, kids? Because I'm, because I'm, because I'm sure fucking not. Okay. Yes, not just n Again, if I have to back out, if I have to, I just, it's a game of survival out here. This track is, it's unforgiving to mistakes. We got some uh, people who haven't raced in this league with us before. It's a race before potential disaster. And lights are... Yeah, starts is just about the only thing I'm good at. <gasps> So I bet I'm... Wow, I th did everybody survive T1? I, I, like, I don't see him. I still... Th there's a distinct lack of death. That's amazing. I think everyone survived T1. Uh, f okay, first chicane time. Is it going to be a mass, a big launch? Okay, not too much death. Time for second. Did I get touched? I don't think I did, but... Uh, I'm going back out and just... It's fine. Some position loss is much better than just dying completely. Okay, lap one survived. No, 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 why why did I have to touch gravel main? Sorry, not exactly good, but I was sliding. I was scared of accidentally going into reverse when trying to go into 6th. Maybe should have left this thing at a 5 speed effectively. So just slowing down to make sure I don't like benefit from cutting that chicane massively.
Yeah, look at that box still in touch. That's fine. I I'm really not handling the final chicane well. I think. I Side by side here, that's gonna be oh that's gonna be so bad man. Oh he managed to he managed to a fairly clean one pass though. Do I send it? Uh, I think I... Kristoff tried to send it around the outside, brave. And he, and he, and he did clean the two. Which is skilled. Oof. Rip Tibo. Very sad. Very sad. Good racer. Did not deserve to die like this, I assume. I, well, I assume that maybe he just... Maybe he just did something stupid. Everyone can do that, then. Oof. I'm not sure if I can keep up with Pokal. I'm keeping in touch so far. Oh yeah. Oh, I closed it. I closed a lot of distance. In that chicken. I think the first chicken is my strongest point. quite hard to follow through here. Oh, Chris, yep, as Christoph just found out, he spun out behind me. Mm. Yeah, he left me no space there, which is completely fair. I was not... I was not entitled to that space yet. Oh, thankfully I did not kill him. That like that could have been a murder. Well, since I wasn't intentional, that would have been manslaughter. <laughs> Which up? Oh. Bye. Yep, get out of shape there, lose a position, that's how it works on this track.
lost lots a ton of time lost. You can't break lay there. You get so fucked if you break lay there. I guess I didn't have to worry about getting water because like there's legitimately not not like a moment where I can drink. This is some very intense racing. Mate, I, I should have got my long straw. I do have a long, very long straw that could have helped me here. Sorry if any slurping noises got through uh, the, the noise suppression. Normally they don't, but yeah, you never know. If anything, the slurping noise just enhanced the experience. Fucking hell. I slurped too hard and some of it got in, like, in my nasal cavity. It's kind of awful. Feels awful. Ooh. 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 I, I saw somebody touch gravel. I saw somebody touch gravel. Yes. Fight. 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 I, I, like, I think that might have been a corner cut. And just like that, I'm back in touch. To do. I thought he braked early and I kind of did some avoiding action that I didn't need to. My mistake, really. But he, he made a worse mistake. Maybe he should have braked early. Because then he wouldn't be... Are you ready for round two, Pokal? You better be, because I'm coming regardless. Actually, you better not be so that I can overtake you easily. <laughs> I would very much like that that position of yours. Catching up a bit. Well, that was definitely that was definitely a cut. Good thing I touched grass and lost time immediately after. Tire wear is actually much better than I was expecting. Oh, that's... Uh, okay, he took the chicane really well this time. I, I took it pretty well too, so he didn't gain, gain on me, but he didn't lose any time to me either. Oh? Uh, I was about to say, oh, Hedster went wide, let's fucking pounce on him, but then I went wide as well, so... 
thankfully nobody's quite close enough to pounce on, pounce on me, but Heads, Pokal and Heads are going to be fighting now, and I would very much like to pick up the scraps of that. You know, if they both crash out and, and gift me a P2, that would be very funny. Well, for me. For them it's going to be very, very bad. For them it's going... Uh, in fact, I think it, it, will, it would make them both quite mad. Ooh. No fucking way you're going for, for, a, for a move here, mate. No way we're gonna go three fucking wide into the chicane. No, I can't do it. I'm just gonna let him. Uh, uh, we had a touch. I'm not sure who, who really touched who, but the point is, it happened. Ah, fuck. Yeah, that's not good. Locked up. I just locked up. Couldn't do much. Uh, Come on, I want a fucking podium. Just need him to make one more mistake. Just one and I, I can I can take him. Yeah, just like that. Come on, come on. Now I just need to not mess up the chicane. Oh, I, oh, and maybe I just need him to mess up the chicane. I forgot to. I mi I missed the fucking clutch. And then I went missed the fucking corner. Man, this is just a battle of two people who can't keep it on the road. That's that's funny. Funny content. That's content. Think like think like two more laps, right? Well, with the rate, with the rate at which both of us have been making mistakes, for anything can happen at this point like that. Actually, come on, he just needs. To, I just need him to mess up the chicken one more time, right? Easy, easy mess up, and it's so easy. It's so easy to make mistakes. 
That was a full cut. That was a full corner cut right, 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 right there. But it's not like I've been perfectly clean about that this race either. So not. I'm not in the position to complain. Not in. Come on, just one mistake and maybe I can be within touching distance again. P2 is gone, but... <gasps> yeah, P P3 is gone. Kek W. Kek W, everyone. Kek W. Very funny. Simracer makes silly mistakes. Incredible content, never seen before. Not to that extent, anyway. No. Shitty Simracers. Sh shitty Simracer makes shitty mistakes. Breaking fucking news. Come on. Come on, I just need him to completely bin it and go into a fucking wall, right? And then I can have a podium, right? Just, just need to bin it, just bin it, but, but just for, for me, just this once, just bin it, bin it, just bin it. No, 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 we're gone. It's gone. Uh, like, here at this point, he's not very pressured. He knows his end. So, uh, he will not, like, go for any silly move. Like, he will not go for any silly moves trying desperately to get away from me. Like, maybe, like, maybe the, he, he did when he did make those mistakes. Like, uh, like, I don't think it's, I, th I do think it's a racing incident, but in this case, I also think it's, like, I'm the one who went into him, so I, I think it's nice to apologize. Yeah. Anyway, the, honestly, P4, I'm super happy with the result, like P4.
Oh, whatever. I, I, I'll, I'll send that message after he finishes well again. Okay. 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 Remember when I said my, that my objective in the first race is to not die. In this race, my objective is to not die too badly because I'm going to die. Everyone's going to die. It's a reverse good race in these cars on this track. There's that like, death is inevitable. There's just d Flag. Oh shit! I got a black and white flag, and I'm not sure what that what that means. Yep. Yep. My flag, and I hit Tibo again. Well, fuck. I don't like what does black and flag fly white flag mean? Does it mean fuck? It means that I can't drive apparently. Does it mean is it a drive through? I think it might be a drive through for for jumping the start. Well, this is fucked. I'm going. I guess I'll just go ahead and show that. Uh, there, that has to be the drive. A drive through, right? Okay, I have no idea where the pit entrance is, by the way. Is, that, is it just ahead? Okay, if, look at that. If I, if I Black and white... And Yep, that was a drive through penalty. Yeah, I jumped the start by accident. That was like an, a masterclass in, in shit. An absolute masterclass in shit. I am so sorry to everyone involved. And like, I think I've absolutely just murdered Tibo and like, I, feel, <laughs> I feel super bad about that. He's already having a bad time in the Beamer. Okay, my new goal, N not last. Um, yeah, but I shouldn't be making mistakes like that, not even when I'm this tired. I mean, okay, to be fair, the, like, the jump start is just, I think I just... Yeah, like, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm very, uh, it's very easy to jump start a tiny bit. By accident.
so fucking sweaty. I'm gonna have to show it tomorrow morning. I'm gonna have to show it tomorrow morning, I think, before walk. Uh, that's less than ideal, there's not much time left, not much time in the morning. Oh yeah, that's definitely a corner cut, I don't know why I did that. I'm driving like a complete moron right now. What the shit? I'm literally not catching up. I'm not even catching Rob. Yeah, the dream of not last. Yeah, the dream of not last is that I guess I might as well retire, but I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going for you. I'm gonna do it for content. For everything for content. Why do you think I start the stream with practice and not just skip it and get to the competitive sessions straight away? It's so I can get more content. Just fucking send it. Not gonna catch anyone A anyway, so might as well have fun and set some lap times, right? Oh, you know, just hit a fucking wall like a moron that I am. Complete idiot. Imbecile. Fucking dumb boss.
mate. I'm just like fucking done. Like, are you seeing the way I'm driving? It's awful. It's... I, sure, I could say that I'm. Oh, I'm not even try, trying because, I mean, I'm so far behind. There's no point anymore, right? But I kind of am, and that makes it super. Just so sad. This is just unbelievably fucking sad. Genuinely terrible. <laughs> I need to check like how exactly I jumped the start. I need to check my inputs. Like I think it was just a silly thing where I just didn't press the clutch all the way in and you know start moving a bit. Yeah. And I said, or maybe just you know yeah, just like you know start driving the engine, but they didn't press the clutch all the way in and that got got me a jump start. Yeah. I can't get back on track. You know what? Fuck it, I'm done. I'm just gonna cast. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna retire the car. And we're just gonna watch the rest of the race. Yeah, so maybe let's watch some bet some better drivers. So this is John Cole, he's in first. Headster, he's in second. 
and like looks like it's gonna stay that way because everybody else is quite a bit uh, behind. Jayway also seems to have the last podium position on pretty on a pretty secure lock, but you know what is not secure? P4 currently held by PC Drift in his first race in the league, I mean sec first event in the league, second race, and he is being pursued closely by more established drivers, Pocolorimus, Christoph Babbage, and another newcomer I believe in, uh, J in, in Jan Napi. Not, not going for a defensive line, but it's quite difficult to overtake into P1, so uh, no, not too much need to do that. Ooh, that's, ooh, that's some rough racing, but fair, but rough but fair. Pokeremus tries to go for the inside. PC Drift gets him back with the switcher room. Oh, what the fuck? How, what? That felt, that looked super weird. They just, one of them just darted towards the other, and I'm not even sure which one. Well, anyway, the, uh, the, yeah, that's how Poco Remus gets by, and uh, now and, and uh, PC Drift now has to worry about Christoph g getting him too, and uh, now Christoph he wants to get by as soon as possible because his tire he's in the Alpha and his tires are they're gonna be gone completely very very soon. Ooh, oh, th mm, yeah, that's kind of cutting the corner. But 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 yeah, Poco is uh, uh, Poco has left you know the zone of immediate danger and he's right back in it after that slide I believe. Uh, well, not quite as immediate danger as he was in before, but still that slide keeps things interesting, keeps things very close indeed. This is the battle for fourth place. The highest non podium position and uh, quite a few points. But Christoph is, Christoph Babbage is now a bit behind PC Drift and he is also being under attack from Jan Napi, who is also closely followed by Tibor Gürten. Oh, how I would have loved to, to have to be a part of that fight. Ooh, that, that, is that a move? Is that a move by Christoph on PC Drift? Not quite. He tr tries, can't quite get it done. It, and it's all getting quite bunched up. Are they gonna go three wide? It, is it was that a touch between Jan and Christoph? D not sure, not sure. Then, yep, and, and and yeah, and with that, th th this fighting group is falling behind. What the? Yeah, Christoph just kind of. Did Christoph just straight up? No, I'm not gonna say anything yet, but that that sure looked weird. Gonna ha that's gonna be a look at the replay for me. But yeah, that effectively broke up the fight. With the fight remaining well with Jan Napi and Christoph Babbage. And I believe Christoph has let Napi past. Which leads me to believe that was just ooh. Big slide, but saves it. Unless that was just lag from my client, from my side, obviously. And yeah, it looks like this is <laughs> unfortunately the only racing we're gonna get in the final laps of the race, as as the gaps a bit further up up ahead are now much larger thanks to that large incident. And I believe that's given positions to Thibaut Gürten and Zilone Andy. Ooh, ooh. They are side by side into T1. And... Oh, and Jan Napi goes wide. So, so wide. Com big mistake. It's going to cost him a position. And there is no way he's catching up in a lap unless... Of course, Christoph makes a mistake of similar magnitude. Okay. Let's take a look at what's, what Tibo's up to. Tibo is one and a half seconds behind PC Drift. Now trying to get himself into the top five and he might actually have the chance. Just a few small mistakes from PC Drift and a few and a good final lap by Tibo. And that could be... 
Th and that could be that could be the top five. I'm actually sad. Like you can't tell. Like I can't. I, I need to understand that it, if it wasn't half twenty minutes to one a.m., I'd be yelling so loud. Right? I'd be fucking furious about how that went. I'm just well, m mad at my at myself at my potato PC and just yeah, just in general. Uh, but uh, and yep, that's PC drift not making the major mistake that Tibo needed him to make really and, and you know Tibo not putting in the 110% perfect lap that he needed to put in to get the P5 and but they finished very oh, that massive ram and yeah that's a finishing order John Cole first Hedster second JV third Bockel fourth PC drift fifth very nice result for him Tibov 6th, Zinoni 7th, Christoph 8th, Jan Napi 9th, and Kapsas 10th, and in finishing 11th and last of the finishers is Rob Bomb. And of course, in actual last, me. Uh, in, in, who, Abika, and, yep. I have us gonna beat for it. Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna watch some replays for that. But for now, it's gonna be the finish of the stream for us. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next week for uh, more of the same, really. M more Praga Cup, more DTM. And maybe I'll do some, think, extra some extra streams if I have the time. I probably will not. Not this week, but at some point I might. But I will see you all later. Have a good night, and bye-bye.